Hi, it's Paul. I'm uh, shooting a little video for Greg, uh, how I'll make my flu-flu errors. I got the idea from a guy named Matt off of one of the traditional sites and uh, figured I'd try it. I've got three of them. I'll post videos up of that. But uh, he wanted this to uh, put on his page for uh, information purposes and uh, I'm glad to do so. So first thing you're going to need is a couple errors. I'm doing Eastern Legacies right now. That's just extra errors I got. Went ahead and stripped them down, cleaned them up. Uh, synthetic turkey feathers. Use a whole one that's been uncut. And I have wraps. I always try to use wraps on whatever I build. It just helps the glue stick better. Now I'm going to use the flow cover for high visibility. Uh, easier to find if I was to lose my air in the woods or whatnot. So, first thing you want to do is strip your arrows down. And once you get that up, clean them up with some uh, alcohol or whatever you choose to use. I just scraped the feathers off and just wiped them down real good. I hadn't cleaned them on anything, and uh, they're holding, the last ones are holding up pretty good. So, start off, you take your wrap, peel the back off. And I just like to lay mine flat down on the counter. And I'll take my arrow and I'll line it up as center as I can. Until it looks like this right here. And then I'll lay it down flat on the counter and I'll roll it to one side until the end sticks to the arrow like this. And I'll go ahead and I'll make sure that that's stuck all the way down. You want that edge to lay flat. Don't try to bend it around because you'll create air bubbles. But you want that edge to sit flat on that arrow. And then you just take and finish rolling it around until the two ends meet. And you'll have that right there. And just finish that end like you did the first end and make sure it's stuck all the way down. Then you have one installed wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and do all three errors just to show you that this doesn't take very long at all. The money I've spent on materials to do this was about the same as it would to be by one flu flu arrow. So if you got extra arrows laying around and you want to start shooting some aerial targets, I think it's a great idea to try to do your own stuff. And to me that's kind of what traditional archery is all about is doing it yourself. Kind of like the old Indians of old day. Air is wrapped. Alright, I got three arrows wrapped, no air bubbles in them. They look really good. Next thing you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. And I like to take, you see you got a thick end of this and it gets thinner as it goes down. Well that end right there is gonna be brittle and break, so I cut off a little bit. Well I still got that white edge and I'll take and I'll start at the tip of it. And I'll grab it like this 
and I'll just go around my finger trying to break down that spine of that feather a little bit to where it's not so brittle like it's going to go around the arrow. And I'll do that a couple times. And then you got something that looks similar to that. Well, we're going to start with the fat end right here. And we're going to put a dab of super glue on there. Once you get your little dab of super glue, I always put a nail on top of mine that way it don't dry up on me. You'll take your first arrow. What you want to do is you want to start about, I don't know, about a half inch from the top. And I put it on there like that. And I let it sit up. I try to use super glue instead of flitch tight because it dries almost instantly. And once your area gets kind of set up, your glue starts getting a little tacky. I'll hold it on there like that. Just kind of blow on it a little bit, get your glue to dry. takes a minute or two to get it set up and ready but when it sets up you're good to go and what I try to do is I try to put it on there with the feather at an angle to the wrap so when you're wrapping it it uh, it kind of goes on like baseball tape on a handle of a bat and it wraps real smooth around there and you have the same gap between each wrap down the feather And once I get that set up right, what I'll do is I'll take and I'll run a bead of super glue down the spine of that feather. About three quarters of the way, almost all the way. If it gets a little messy, it's okay. It's not supposed to be pretty. It'll still function just fine. You get that going up right there up the bead of that feather. Put a paper towel down so your wife don't kill you when it drops on the counter like mine might do this evening. <laughs> and once you get that ready like that. Wipe the super glue up so your wife don't kill you first. And then you'll take the end of this feather right here and you'll hold it and you'll start spinning like this. When you hear it start to crack, I stop and I let that set up just like that. Kind of like I did in the beginning with the uh, with the first initial part of the feather. You let that set up. And it looks like this right now, but once we space our feathers out, it'll look like the ones in the shooting video. You kind of go ahead and start separating them.
as you're letting this thing set up. Once you get to the end to where it's kind of set up, you'll have this little extra hanging off the end. You can try to keep going around with it a little bit, put a little more super glue on it. Finish that wrap around right there. Hold that and let it keep setting up. That end will get brittle if you try to wrap it all around at one time. If you let some of this glue to start set up down the arrow, it'll kind of st you know stabilize a little bit. You just keep separating them feathers as it's drying, or you can wait till after it dries. It doesn't really matter. have something that looks like this when you turn it toward the wind you have all that wind resistance you're going to catch right there and it's really going to slow that air down for you i've got a video i'm going to post up or let greg post up that i shot and uh at 15 yards they're grouping awesome and past 15 yards they start to drop like a rock so but that's what they're made for they're made to uh be short range errors for aerial targets or whatever Let's see. take your scissors in the end that little piece that's sticking off and just cut it make sure that where you cut it at's got some glue to hold on to that'll help one with noise with wind catching that little piece sticking up and two it'll help if it's to dig in the ground it won't rip your feathers off so that is about it took me what with all my talking and everything about five six minutes maybe so uh you get the hang of it you can save yourself a whole lot of money trying to buy flu flu airs all right i hope you enjoyed it and uh any questions just comment on greg's video or uh you can get a hold to me if you want to uh, greg will give you the information to my youtube page and uh We'll help you out the best way we can. Thank you.